Hey guys, just another quick FYI here. Scratch Live version 2.4.1 is now out in public beta for you to download and try out. Uh, 2.4.1 uh, is the latest public beta version. You might be wondering, well, what happened to version 2.4.0? Uh, well, that is uh, included with the new range 61 and 62 mixers that only ship with those um, mixers. So you can still download 2.4.0 from Serato's website. It's kind of hidden, though. Uh, they don't really suggest you use it unless you have the 61 and 62, but it does work with all uh, the Scratch Live hardware devices. Uh, so, I mean, we're just going to skip over that and pretend it's just 2.4.1. Uh, so here we are with the uh, public beta version, first public beta version of 2.4.1. Uh, not a whole lot new. Uh, obviously, support for the new range 61 and 62 mixers. Uh, there is support now for the new Serato Video plugin. Uh, remember, Serato Video now is going to replace the old Video Scratch Live. Uh, also, though, unfortunately, this new version 2.4.1 uh, does not work with the other video program that I pretty much all video Scratch Live users use and that's Mix Emergency. Uh, that's a big um, thing I would imagine uh, for a lot of people because uh, unfortunately Mix Emergency is just way better than Serato Video or the old video Scratch Live. Uh, sorry to say guys uh, Serato but uh, it is true Mix Emergency is the better product. Uh, you know, I'm not going to get into the debate about it. I don't do video, so I personally don't care either way or another, but pretty much everyone I know that does video uses Mix Emergency. Uh, but in 2.4.1, Mix Emergency no longer works, so you're going to have to use the Serato video, or if you, you know, you're going to have to stay on an old version, then 2.3 or below, if you want to continue using Mix Emergency. Uh, other than that, though, there's not a whole lot new in 2.4.1, besides the support for Serato video and the new... Range 61 and 62 mixers. However, it, did, it does fix all the DJFX bugs that were present in 2.3.3, which I made a lot of videos on. Uh, the beat buttons now work correctly; that you can scroll through them. Uh, you don't have to uncheck and recheck the deck assignments, or go into the setup menu and uncheck and recheck the plugin for the effects to work on startup now. Uh, so those are fixed. So uh, just those reasons alone, I would recommend probably updating to this. Uh, uh, you know that was a pretty annoying bug uh, with the 2.3.3 version. The effects not working, and a couple other bug fixes as well. Uh, also, they've changed the audio output to be uniform across all the devices now, or at least they've tried to. Uh, so you may notice, depending on which device you're using, that your volume uh, output is either a little bit lower or a little bit higher than what it was before. Uh, you know that's a big. Uh, thing you know a lot of people had complaints about is you know some people you know they might use the SL3 one night and then go to a club and use the 57 you know if you use the auto gain too and you set all your levels correctly then it changes uh, depending on which device you're using uh, so it's a big mess so now Serato try to implement it a way to make the audio uh, the audio output uniform across all the devices so uh, just something you might notice uh, other than that though that's pretty much it for 2.4.1 at least now um, if they add anything new in future uh, public beta versions of 2.4.1. Of course, I'll address that, but uh, as of right now, that is pretty much it. So if you want to give 2.4.1 a go, uh, head on over to the Serato forums and download it and install it. Again, remember, this is a public beta version, so uh, it is not final. There are probably going to be more issues, discovered or undiscovered. Uh, if you do find a bug, please post a bug report about it on the forum so they can get it fixed. So uh, this is a first look at Serato Scratch Live version 2.4.1, now out for a public beta for you to download and try out.